Hello first grade. In math for the next couple of weeks we are going to be learning about a really amazing place called the land of fair and equal. And inside this land of fair and equal everyone who lives in there has to have something in common. All of their pieces have to be exactly the same size. That's what makes them equal. So I'd like to show you some of the people or characters or shapes that we will meet when we are learning all about who lives inside the land of fair and equal and what their names are and who they live with and all sorts of things like that. So the first thing I'll show you is that I have all these different kind of shapes here. Right now all of these shapes get to live in the land of fair and equal because if you gave one shape that would be fair. It is totally, completely fair. This is a square. I made it out of Play-Doh, so it's kind of square-like. If you need a Play-Doh recipe and you'd like to make your own shapes, they are on the additional um, activities page of our class website. So, I'm going to take a knife and I'm going to start cutting these shapes into different size pieces and we're going to figure out together if the shape should stay in the land of fair and equal or if it needs to leave and go somewhere else because it's not for the land of fair and equal. So I'm going to take this shape first and I'm going to cut it into hmm I'm going to cut it into two pieces. So I'm going to go two pieces. Now that I've cut it into two pieces, does this shape belong in the land of fair and equal? Are these two pieces the same size? Are they equal? Think about that one. I'm going to say, nope, not the same size. This cannot be a shape that lives in the land of fair and equal. Let's try another shape. Here's my second square. I am going to cut my square. Again, I'm going to try to cut it into two equal pieces. Let's see if I did it. Does square get to stay in the land of fair and equal? Are these about the same size? I did a pretty good job. This shape can stay in two pieces in the land of fair and equal. Now I have a circle. Let's try to cut a circle into three equal pieces. Threes are really tricky. So what I do for threes is that I start with one cut like this and then you kind of have to make a piece you kind of have to make a peace sign and try to get all three pieces to be exactly the same size are they pretty much the same size yeah they are so this circle in three pieces can stay in the land of fair and equal. Now we have another circle. Let's cut this into four pieces. For four, I'm going to cut and make two pieces like this, and then I'm going to cut across. Can this shape stay in the land of fair and equal with four equal pieces? Yes, it can. For my rectangle, hmm, Maybe I'll try to cut, oh, I'm going to cut this one into four equal pieces also. So I'm going to cut like this, and like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, I did it. Did I cut them into four equal pieces? Did they all look the same size to you? Uh-oh, I do not think I did a good job with this one. This shape, sadly, cannot live in the land of fair and equal with us. So today, your project is to make some shapes and cut them into different pieces that can all live in the land of fair and equal together. I use Play-Doh for mine, um, and because I really wanted to make some Play-Doh, and I put a recipe for you on our additional um, activities page. But if you don't have Play-Doh, that's okay. You can just use paper to make your shapes. So here is a piece of um, paper in a square. I'm going to use some scissors and I can still make my land of fair and equal shapes by using paper. So maybe if I want to cut it into two pieces, I'm going to just use my scissors and have shapes too. I would love to see the shapes that you make for the land of fair and equal. So if you have time and would like to, you can make your shapes and decorate them if you'd like to. 
and take a picture of them and send them to me and Teacher Julie, and we would love to celebrate the land of fair and equal shapes that you make. See you soon!